today's battle is between the white rhino and the Alaskan moose. <coughs> the Alaskan moose can be, you know, lives in North America, mostly around like Alaska and Canada, and they can be up to right. They can weigh up to around 800 to 1,600 pounds, and can go to around 6 to 7 feet tall, and can be up to around 7 to 10 feet long. Okay, white rhinos. White rhinos live in live in Africa. They can weigh up to around 300. They can weigh up to around like one to two tons, and they can be up to around. They can be up to around. 11 to 13 feet long and be up to around 5 feet tall. 4 to 5 feet tall, you know. <coughs> Weapons! Horns versus the antlers. The horns get the advantage because the rhino's horns, no, almost nothing breaks them. Okay, antlers, they keep growing but they're fragile. Horns, they break, they do break occasionally. But they keep growing as they, so, but slowly, okay? They keep growing as they get older. They're just a lot more effective, okay? Okay, hooves versus my feet. For a trampling attack, is trample versus kick. And the trample can see advantage because the sheer size and f and bulk of the rhino could easily topple over the moose. And for a newcomer, I'm not biased. Okay. I know. Okay. Like the trampling attack of the, the rhino is a lot more effective than that, the kicking power of the moose. So yeah, advantage goes to the rhino. Okay, X factors. The rhino's color helps to blend in through a savanna environment that moves in, and plus they have really tough and rugged skin. Moose, on the other hand, their brown color helps them blend in the environment as well, and plus they can swim. And their large antlers, nobody fucks with a moose besides a pack of wolves, maybe some bear and cougars now and then. <clears throat> X factors goes to the. Actually, I think it goes to the moose for X factors because of the fact that it swims and almost nothing fucks with it. Because there's no fucking elephants in, in in Alaska, you know. But anyways, let's get into, let's get into the um, what else? If it main stats moose. Okay, moose. The moose, the Alaskan moose, can run up to around like twenty-five to thirty miles per hour, while the white rhino can run to speed up to around like twenty-five miles per hour. So the moose is a little faster. So yeah, strength goes. They're both really strong creatures, but it has to go to the rhino. Brains, moose, because rhinos aren't that smart, and plus their their eyesight is crap. So yeah, and then they will attack anything that moves. Okay, attack goes to the rhino because of its because of its blindness problem that it has will attack anything that freaking moves. Yeah, defense goes to the rhino as well. Okay, let's fight. The rhino is just walking along, you know. He's just minding his own business. Until he sees a moose minding his own business as well. The rhino sees it moving and he thinks it's like some sort of super large predator. So he he gets in the charging position and charges. <laughs> the, the, the moose sees this... this um. He's this hulking two-ton animal just charging towards him. And yes, we're using that at the maximum size, okay? And so the moose dodges out of the way, thinking he's there's a predator somewhere. And the rhino just stumbles a bit before face landing towards the ground. <sighs> the rhino sees the moose and charges it at it. It's not, it's not at this moment until the moose realizes he's charging towards him. So the moose ch gets in defensive position, but the horns freaking overpower the antlers and just knocks the moose over. 
The moose is getting gored, but then the moose then tries to kick the rhino in the eye. It actually works. The moose like groans, groans and faint, groans furiously, and then charges and gores the rhino. The rhino is starting to get like ragdolled everywhere. So the rhino just like tries to finagle his horn and hit it the moose, and the horn actually hits them the the. Um, the moose's shoulder blade, and this stops the moose's rampage. The rhino gets back up, and both animals groan at each other, trying to like figure out this dispute. Since the moose is a little smarter and has a lot better eyesight, he tries to trick the rhino, but the rhino doesn't fall for it, surprisingly. And instead, the rhino just ends up breaking one of the moose's hind legs. The moose just stumbles... The moose just like stumbles a bit, and the rhino charges and stabs the the moose in the gut repeatedly, charging him and goring him. The moose can't do anything about it. He's just he's losing a lot of blood, and then the rhino then all of a sudden he stops because he's run out of energy and stamina and thinks the the enemy, sorry the enemy like quotation marks enemy is like um it's like he's dead the moose slowly gets up but then slumps down to the floor dead too weak to get up so the winner is the white rhino so verdict i think the white rhino would win around like 90 you know yeah just 90 percent of the time his sheer bulk helps him win it in his fight and it's definitely a lot stronger than the moose when it comes to sheer strength. But there will be some cases where the moose will actually win. But that's like a slim chance to nothing. But who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.